guys, welcome back to my studio for another vlog. Happy New Year. It is officially 2024. Like, we finally made it to the new year, you guys. It feels so good. I'm so excited for the fresh start, not only for my personal finances, but also for my business as well. There was a lot of things that I really wanted to accomplish in 2023 that I just never really got around to for my business. So, why not start off the new year, kicking it off with a fresh start on the right foot. So one thing being new product photos. So that is why I have my little backdrop and little props set up here. So I definitely want to update some of my product photos. I just feel like a lot of my product photos are kind of not relevant. A lot of them were from fall when I launched, so I need to update those. I also just need to give my site a refresh. It's been the same since I originally opened my shop, so yeah, we're going to update some photos today. I also need to restock a bunch of items. You all have sold me out throughout the Christmas season, which I'm not complaining. I'm so, so grateful, but there's a lot of things that I am just completely wiped out of. And there's some things that I just need to completely remove from my site that will not be restocking. So I need to do that as well. And then I also need to take down my Christmas tree, you guys. It is gorgeous. Why am I not in focus? What's going on? I still don't know how to use this camera, by the way. This is my new vlogging camera. But yeah, I need to tackle my Christmas decor. It's beautiful, but it's time for it to go. So let's go ahead and get into it. I think I want to go ahead and jump into the orders first. I have several in my queue that just absolutely have to go out tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and knock those out. I'll probably just play some music through that part. And then I'll check back in with you guys after the photo shoot. Okay, I'm so sorry about the lighting, you guys. I only have my chandelier up here, which is behind me, and it casts a shadow over my work desk. So I'm working with my lamp, and it casts a little orange, like warm ambient lighting on my face. But I do plan on getting some like track lighting installed up here so that I can see over here and it'll be lit. But anywho, until that happens, we're working with the lamp. So I'm so sorry about the lighting. But the first order, I have already printed it out. It comes from Angela. Thank you so much, Angela, for your order and supporting my business. I truly, truly appreciate it. She has ordered a Love Wax Melter. So let me go ahead and show y'all because I don't think I've actually shared these on my channel yet. So here's the wax melter. And again, y'all, I'm so sorry. The lighting is not good. But this basically is home decor as well as functional. So you put the wax in the letter O. There's like a little section here. Y'all have to, I'll try to insert a picture so you guys can see because the lighting here really sucks. But anywho, you put the wax in here and then underneath there is a little place in the O as well as in the E to set. Oh, I didn't even notice. You can put wax in the E too, y'all. So up the scents. <laughs> Anywho, you put your little candles down in here and it burns the wax and makes your whole house smell amazing. She did order this in pink. I have this in three colors. I have it in pink, white, silver, and red left. I think I only have one more of the pink and a couple of the white. Y'all yeah, like, have been selling out for these. These really sold well last year around Valentine's Day. It makes a perfect gift. So yeah, I'm excited to get this packaged up for her. And I have several orders for some inserts you guys y'all have been loving my inserts thank you guys so so much for all the feedback that you've been giving me i'm so excited for all of you guys starting off your budgeting journey so i have finally figured out how to get them printed on my printer and my printer is now low on toner <laughs> because i've been printing so much um so basically what i've been doing is printing them out myself at home and then i take them to um, office depot to use their big cutting machine and cut them because at first I was cutting them by hand but that was just it was too much you guys so have several of those to get packaged and sent out and y'all well let me do first things first let me finish her order and then I'll check back in okay y'all so her order is all packaged and ready to go I think it came out super cute I didn't actually have a box to fit the other box in but I mean the box that the warmer already comes in is padded really really well so I think this will be fine inside the poly mailer let's move on to some of the product photos Okay, y'all, I just feel like product photography is something that I have always struggled with in my business. It is something that stresses me out every single time that I launch a new product. It's just, I don't know, you guys, it just gives me so much anxiety. I feel like marketing is like your front face. That is the main thing you have to show for your business, and it needs to be on point. And I am such a perfectionist that it just, 
I don't know y'all it just stresses me out so I do have a couple of products that I want to go ahead and get up on my website that I designed last year that I never got around to posting so I'm gonna film those first I shared one of them with you guys last video which is this journaling card here that I designed this is an affluence journaling card I also have another one I designed here here's what it looks like let's get the camera focused this is why I purchased this camera so I don't have to do the whole like YouTube hand let's focus it just focuses so um, this is a card that I designed it says romanticize your finances so I want to find a way to like stage these really really cute maybe with some planner I don't know y'all like I have no vision so I'm actually going to do some research I'm going to look on Etsy as well as Pinterest just to kind of get some like ideas of how to stage them and then we'll take some pictures so y'all wish me luck Okay guys, it is literally like an hour later, like product photos just takes so much out of me, y'all. Like it just leaning over and adjusting the lighting and placement of things, it's just, it's exhausting. I hate doing it, but it's done now. So now all I gotta do is go edit them, which is the next part that I do not like doing <laughs> and then upload them to the site. But let me turn the camera around and show you guys. I did get some really good shots. I'm gonna show you guys briefly and then we're gonna move on to unboxing. Okay, y'all, so it is like an hour later now at this point. I've taken so many pictures, but this is kind of like the setup that I've been working with. I've just been sticking them in little areas on my planner and then also taking some pictures like separately. So I think I'm happy with how they turned out. You guys will see them on the website and also on my Instagram. If you're not following me, I'll have it linked down below. But yeah, let's move on to unboxing some new tools. Okay, so you guys know how I told you I have been going to Office Depot to cut my planner pages myself. So I purchased a new paper cutter. I had purchased one before off of Amazon and it was just like sliding all over the place and I didn't like it so I returned it. So I'm hoping this one I will like better. And why is this box so huge? I hope it's not this big. Okay. Okay, I don't know why I needed such a big box. <laughs> Let's get this open. Oh, that is so much like more the size I was hoping it was going to be. Okay. okay, so my camera ran out of battery, so I had to switch back to my phone for filming. But so this one, I'm hoping the other one I had did not have a guide to keep the sheets like together. So when I was using the guillotine, they were sliding all over the place, so let's go ahead and see. Oh yeah, this one already off gate feels so much tighter. What is this? I was hoping this was gonna be metal. It's actually plastic, but... Okay, so it is adjustable, so let's see how this one works. Okay, so I am actually gonna to try to attempt to cut this down to letter size. This is legal size paper, um, just because I'm too lazy to buy letter size paper. Like, if I have legal, going to use what I have. So I'm going to cut this down and let's see the guide. I don't know. How does this work y'all? Like, oh, okay. So the other issue I was having with the other one is where the blade lined up with the edge, it would still leave an extra gap. So my cuts were never a hundred percent accurate, which is so frustrating. And okay, I don't know if I can clamp this on. that and then this part right here is supposed to really hold the paper in place so here we go oh that is so much better this still slides just a little bit but yes I'm so happy with this okay this is so much better yay okay and this doesn't take up as much space as the other one it also has some rubber grippers so it doesn't slide all over the place the other one I had was just strictly plastic and it was sliding everywhere like I could not deal so I am happy with this I got some letter paper to use and if I don't like it 
I'm gonna return it. Amazon is like Walmart, you can return anything. So, love that, but yay. New business tool. All right, so now that that's done, I think I wanna move on next to restocking some of the products that I am just completely sold out of. So, you guys first have been loving my inserts. Thank you guys so, so much for all of your orders and support of my shop. Like, I truly appreciate it, and I'm so excited to have some of you guys joining in with my budget with me's and using the same tools that I'm using. It's just, it's exhilarating. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on some inserts because I'm totally out of the Affluence bundles. That is my best seller right now. Um, and then I also need to restock some of my um, like envelope stuff. So let me turn the camera around and show you guys. Okay, so I do have a stack here of, these are the quarterly insert bundles that I've just pre-printed and already got them cut down. I just need to hole punch them. And then I also have already made some restocks. You guys have been loving my placeholders. Sorry, I just hit my printer. But I have made a bunch of 500s and 1000s because I'm completely out of those and then the gold funded. So I need to round the corners on these. Like this is where I've been keeping them. Like this, I am so low, you guys. I only have like three in here, I think. One, two, yeah, one, two, three. So yeah, I need to restock those. I also need to restock my envelopes. Um, these were actually my freebie stickers from fall and Christmas. So I need to put those away. Like I just need to pack up all of my holiday stuff and get ready for the new year. So let's go ahead and get to punching. So I finished hole punching all of the planner inserts. Those are fully stocked, ready to go. I think I'm probably going to sell my quarter one inserts probably through mid-February and then I'll start making quarter two available because I just feel like I need to start prepping a month in advance. So that's how that's going to work. I'm going to sit here in front of my computer. I'm actually listening to one of my favorite YouTubers right now. Um, so I'm going to listen to that while I cut out the corners of these. Literally all I'm using is my corner puncher and I'm going to quarter around these. So nothing too exciting. I'm going to listen to her for some motivation and I'll check back in with you guys. All right, you guys, so I got everything restocked that I wanted to restock today. It feels so good to have pictures done restock and next i think i'm going to work on my branding so i'm going to call it a night i'm going to go in and clean up a little bit and i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so it is saturday it is a gorgeous day outside it's like midday right now it's around three o'clock i just finished lunch and filming some videos for my channel i had to do my budget close out get ready for paycheck two all of that so I came up here because of course I have orders to get out. And then I realized you guys, when I was restocking, I'm out of a lot more stuff. So we're gonna do that today. I also have some orders for my savings challenge boxes that I need to get out today, like before five o'clock. So I'm gonna do that first, prioritize. Um, I'm so glad y'all have been loving my savings challenge boxes. So I have two, I think, left to fill. Y'all know my struggle with these saving challenge boxes. So I'm so glad that you guys are loving them because I put a lot of work into these boxes. Um, so we're gonna do that. I also have to get my pictures up, the ones that I took with you guys last vlog. Um, well, not last vlog, but I think the last clip. I'm trying to make this like a monthly type of thing, just do a monthly vlog. Um, anywho, I'm getting off track. I need to upload those pictures, get those products launched and available to you guys. And then I also, Still wanna do some more branding changes. I'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's go ahead and jump into the savings challenge boxes so I can get to the post office. All right, so I already cleaned up, so we are good to work. This is pretty much where I'm at with my savings challenge boxes. I have been cutting them like during work, um, during my shift. So we have all of these cut and ready to go. They're not in any type of order, so I need to organize them, package them, and get them ready to be shipped. 
I also have more up here. And then this is where I've been keeping my little scratch off stickers. I found this container. Oh, let's see if the sticker's still on it. Uh, looks like maybe Home Goods, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls, one of those. Um, but I thought it was perfect to keep them in here. And I can also like pull these out like this. Ugh, love it. Anywho, that's not the point. Let's go ahead and get, I need to do emergency fund first just because I have three orders for that. And then I think I have one order for a payday one, but I'm not sure if it's bi-weekly or semi-monthly. So let's do the emergency fund ones first. These are already in order. I just need to package them and then we'll work on sorting the other ones. Also, I found a couple of these decorative sheets just in my stash. I thought they'd be really cute to print the instructions out. I have been getting several DMs and messages regarding the saving challenge boxes on how to set them up. So <clears throat> I'm gonna, excuse me y'all, I'm still recovering from this RSV cough. So annoying. But I am going to try and show you guys on camera how to set them up so that you guys will know. But I do want to print out some instructions on these as well. So let's go ahead and jump to it. Okay, so I've got two, four, six, eight sets ready to go, which I'm so proud of that just because they take so long to make you guys. I don't think you all understand. So I do have some of these small little cellophane bags that I ordered that I'm going to package these in. I'm going to go ahead and package these up. So basically the way that they come, I'm going to try to do this so you guys can see, but this is the front of the box. So you have nine parts to the box. All nine parts, once they're completed, do total up to $1,000 being saved for your emergency fund. Basically, once you complete part one, you just shade in that circle, part two, shade in the circle, and so on and so forth. So you keep this in the front of the box. Let me go ahead and grab a box so I can show you guys how to set it up. Okay, so here is the box. Just a nice, gorgeous acrylic box. It is four by four. So in the front of the box, you're first going to set in, make sure this is in frame for y'all. You're gonna set this in the front, just like that, so you can see what the box is. Next, you have nine sections. So this is part one. You're gonna stuff $10, $5, $15, and $20. Once you complete all four of them, you're gonna track off your boxes as you stuff your envelopes. You'll have $50 saved, you mark off the first section. So you have section one, section two, section three, all the way up through nine. So that's how those are designed. And then basically you're just gonna set up your envelopes in between each section. So let me grab some envelopes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in part one right behind the tracker. And then in between each section, you're gonna put in four envelopes because that's what you're shading off. So I'm gonna put in one, two, three, four. Set that in. And then I'm gonna put in part two because again, we're filling four envelopes in part two. Put in one, two, three, four. That goes behind section two and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. Part three, one, two, three, four. And of course, I do give you enough envelopes to complete the complete challenge. Part four, one, two, three, four. Part five, one, two, three, four. And I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's really hard to see on camera, but all the way down at the bottom, do you see that small little JL? Have my logo on every single envelope, which I thought was super cute. Just a small little, you know, minor detail. But basically, I'm not gonna stuff the whole thing since that's not how that's gonna come packaged. But once you have all of your envelopes in here, it should fill up the whole box. And I do have plenty of space in this box so that as you're stuffing your envelopes with the cash, of course, they're gonna be thicker. You'll have plenty of room, so. Yeah, y'all, that's how the Saving Box Challenge is set up. I think it's super cute. I'm glad you guys are loving them. So let's go ahead and package up her first order. I need to actually print out the packing slip. Okay, so her envelopes are good to go. Actually, y'all, I can put these inside the box. I think that would be cute. Put them 
inside the box like so. The emergency fund. And then lastly, I am going to print out the instructions and laminate that. Well, actually, I don't think it needs to be laminated. I'm just going to print them out and put it in here so that they'll know how to set this up. So let me go ahead and print those and I'll be back. So I finally finished the design. Let's see how it turned out. Ooh, not too bad. I don't know if I really am in love with this paper, but it's just going to have to work for now. So let's go ahead and cut these down and finish packaging because I am down to the last 30 minutes before I need to get to the post office. instructions are done okay we're getting down on time but I have both of the envelope pouches in here I have the emergency savings challenge box with a thank you sticker and then lastly the instructions which I think is so cute I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on wrap the box up and package her order That took so much longer than I thought it was going to take. It's literally 4.30 now. The post office closes at 5. I still need to go ahead and package the second order, which is for a bi-weekly savings challenge box. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out how to put that one together. I haven't done any of those yet. I've only done the emergency funds. So yeah, this is going to be just as interesting. Let's see if I can get this done. And then here I have already sorted how many envelopes need to go in each section. They are divided. I've already counted them out. So there's 26 in each section where there's a little piece of cardboard to make it easier for myself. So I'm just going to grab 26, a section, package these up, and it's good to go. Hey guys, I know I look crazy. Please ignore the bonnet. I've been in this bonnet probably for the past like three days. I have been sick, y'all, so I have not been filming. Um, I did go to urgent care a couple weeks ago and was diagnosed with bronchitis. Um, and I thought I had COVID as well. I still don't have any sense of taste. The body aches have kind of simmered down a bit for me, um, but my COVID test came back negative, strep came back negative. Um, so it is unfortunately bronchitis. And I'm so sorry for my voice or from clearing my throat and coughing. I'm still really congested. I do have my humidifier going over here beside me. I also have my windows open today, y'all. It's been like 65 to 70 degrees here, surprisingly, for the past couple of days. So I've had my windows open just to let in the humidity. It's been raining. So the humidity has been helping with my throat. I got my voice back finally so now I can talk to you guys. Um, but yeah, y'all, I've just been in bed up here in the guest room, uh, quarantined away from my boyfriend. My boyfriend's staying downstairs in the master, and I've just been chilling. I have been doing some stuff behind the scenes, but I do have my laptop here. I've been working on you guys' orders. Um, I did put up an out of office 
for a week stating that I would not be shipping any orders out just so that I'm in the clear and not passing anything to y'all um, through Friday, which was yesterday. So I do have a couple orders I need to get out today. Um, I also have been working on updating some new products, which I will get out for you guys, hopefully next week. And then just some site updates as well, working on my branding. I did design a new Etsy banner, which I'm happy with. I'll show you guys that as well. But yeah, y'all, business has been pretty steady, actually. It hasn't been too busy, nothing that I can't really manage. Um, so I do have quite a few orders built up in my queue I need to get out today, which hopefully I can get out in a couple hours. I'm just letting my medicine kick in. They did put me on some steroids as well as an antihistamine to help clear up the bronchitis. And I also have been given an inhaler, which has really helped bring my voice back. So yeah, y'all, I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos and just working on some stuff on my website. I am expecting a delivery a little bit later today. I ordered a litter robot from Whisker and it actually came damaged a couple of weeks ago. So they did order me a, well, I called customer service. They ordered me a replacement, which is supposed to be delivered a little bit later today, which I'm excited about you guys. And the kitties are excited too. So I will probably check back in with y'all once the delivery gets here. Okay, y'all, so here is what the new banner I designed in Canva turned out to look like. I'm so happy with it. Like, it just looks so much more crisp and clean than the old one I had. The old one I had was just kind of blurry. I feel like this is a lot brighter. It portrays my products as well, and it's just very clear. You can see what my site is about. It's luxury planning and budgeting essentials. I've got my website and my social media down here. And then, of course, my affluence planner. I've got my cash wallets and my A5 planners as well. I just, the colors, everything, it just looks so much better. Such an improvement. We just got a package. <laughs> oh, the replacement is here, y'all. I cannot wait to open it. Jensen. Oh. Okay, I've got Little Robot in the house. Let's open it up and hopefully it's not cracked. Oh, how cute. The best day ever for you and your cats. Love that. Let's see. Your days of scooping are over. Yes, Lord. Okay, so we've got the quick guide, I think is what this is. I remember last time. Yep. And then this is the plug. Take these out. Voila! Okay, so it does come in this gigantic, like, oops. <laughs> it comes in this gigantic drawstring bag, so I'm going to open this up, and fingers crossed, it's in good condition. All right, I've got it out of the box. This is the gigantic drawstring bag that it comes in, so I'm going to open this, and I'm going to inspect it first before I, like, attempt to hook it up, because I want to make sure it's not cracked. <laughs> All right, so here is where I have been keeping the litter box. I used to have a big, well, I'll just show y'all. I had this one, which Jensen is using right now, sitting in the corner, and then this was beside it. So I'm thinking I'm going to put the litter robot here in the corner and then still put one of their other litter boxes right here just so they can get used to the area. I did have to run an extension cord behind both of my machines just because there's no outlet over here for it to plug into. So yeah, this is the space. Um, I did already have a litter mat, which is very similar to the one that they offer by Whisker. So I'm just gonna leave that there and let's move in the robot. Well, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be, but it still fits the space nicely. I still have plenty of room to open up my dryer, but I feel like the mat is just not serving a purpose. So I need to pull the mat out some, and I think I'm still going to put their old litter box beside it, and just until they get used to using this. Okay, so I've got the robot placed. I did move the mat out a little bit further in front, and next it says to turn the power button on and fill the max fill line with litter, which this fill line is this little ring that you're seeing. This is the litter that I've purchased to use with the litter robot. My cats do not know this litter at all. They've always used the pellet litter, um, but that unfortunately is not compatible with the litter robot. So I'm hoping they take to using this litter. 
All right, litter is in. Jensen is already checking it out, being curious. So next it says to push the power button. Power is on. Oh, it's turning. Look, y'all. It's super quiet, too. I love that. So I need to learn what all these flashing lights mean. Both of them are here. So I got everything connected on the app. I did create profiles for both Jory and Jensen. So the app is all ready to go. It did do its first cycle. So this blue light means that it is all ready to go according to this. I think I'm going to leave this sitting in here just so I know what all these lights mean. But yeah, y'all. So I did put their old litter box over here just so they know this is still the potty area. Really wish this litter was compatible with the litter robot, but... Unfortunately, it does need to clump in order for it to work. So hopefully they will take to it. Jensen has been sniffing around. Jory has not bravened. Is that a word? Bravened up to it yet. But we shall see. I'll keep you guys updated. Oh my gosh, look y'all. It even has night lights for them. Oh, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this little poop box, but I'm so excited. Oh, that's so cute. Hey guys, so I am up and moving about now. It is about one o'clock, so I am going to try to get some orders out and drop them off at the post office today. I have made some progress on my tree. If you guys will remember, I started taking some of the ornaments off um, a couple days ago and then I got really winded. So here's the progress on that. Okay, so my office is a bit of a mess. Here is the remaining decorations from my Christmas tree that I still need to pack away. Um, I have been putting them in these bins here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear off my space so that I can pack some orders. <laughs> office space is clean I can get to working orders now so the first order we have oh this is exciting y'all okay so the first order I have is from Julie thank you so much Julie for your order she has actually ordered three pieces of home decor for me y'all and I'm so excited about these because I think I but maybe the second time that somebody's ordered these. She actually ordered three of my Love Wax Melters. So I'm so excited. And then I also have an order from Naima for some cash envelopes. So let's do the Love Wax Melter order first. Okay, so here is the wax melter that she ordered, y'all. So this is actually a dual item I like to consider. This is an oil wax melter burner. So you can put the oil here and here so there's a spot in the O and a spot in the E and then down below if you guys can see you put your candles or your little tea lights down here to heat up the oil to make your house smell amazing so this actually serves as a fragrance as well as a little decor piece so she ordered it in pink she also ordered it in white and then she also ordered the silver and I think these are just perfect gifts that's what I've been selling them as is gifts um, so yeah I am so excited that she ordered these I'm gonna go ahead and get these packaged up for her so y'all I'm running into this issue a lot where I don't really consider or like think about people ordering multiple items and I never have boxes <laughs> big enough so I have this box that my boyfriend actually just got a pair of shoes delivered in so I just ripped the label off of it and Hopefully, it'll work. So, let's see. So, I've got a pink and the white and the silver. So, yes, they fit perfectly in here. I probably need to put some like bubble stuff in here to keep from sliding around just because the box is a little bit bigger than the actual products. But here's what it looks like in there. And each one individually is packaged in like foam wrap inside the box so they are really really protected let me go grab some bubble wrap and then we'll weigh it and package this up so 
I need this to be kind of long. So it's long ways. I am so not a professional like shipper. <laughs> but I think this will do the trick. I could fit one more layer. All right, so I'm gonna actually put all this together. Other slip, paper clip, and thank you card. Let's slide that down. Actually, let's sit it across the top like that. Perfect. Where's my tape? So box is secure. I'm gonna use some of my decorative tape just to make the box look a little bit more presentable. <laughs> I'm all about the image, y'all. And we'll move on to the next order. Here is my custom water activated tape that I ordered from, I think I got it from Vistaprint. There we go. That looks so much better. It looks kind of Amazon-ish, but J Lux vibes. <laughs> One down, a lot more to go. Okay, so the next order I have is from Naima. She just ordered one zipper cash envelope in A7 size. So this will be super easy to knock out really quickly. Let me open my Cricut design space. What does she want on it? Black coins. Let me go turn on my Cricut. Well guys, I need to restock my A7 envelopes before I can actually make them. Luckily, I remembered to place the order from Amazon. Got 50, so we're now down to 49. So her order is done. I'm gonna package this up and we'll move on to the next. Next up is Kenya. Kenya ordered an Onyx A7 wallet. So I'm gonna grab this for her. y'all today's orders are going out and i am going to come back and lay down i'm tired y'all jory just used the litter box for the first time i'm so excited so i did have to carry her over here she was crying sitting in front of the old litter box i've actually like closed the gate on that one so they can't get in so i carried her over here and she made her first poopy i'm so excited and here comes Jensen. Look, he's coming to inspect. 
Oh, y'all, I hope they really, really take to this little robot. What do you think, Kim? Good job, Mommy. Oh, and look, y'all. Hardly any litter came out. I'm so excited. So now it's going to wait, I think, seven minutes just for in case she peed to give the pee time to clump. And then it'll cycle. But she didn't pee. She just pooped. So, <sighs> success.